telemarketers have moved from our landlines to our cell phones, and now many people get robocalls on their cell phones every day. And now a major company will have to pay you for sending them. Consumer reporter John Madaris explains and has some new ways to stop them so you don't waste your money. If you ever received an unwanted text message on your cell phone, you may be eligible for some money. Some popular radio shows are in trouble for sending text messages to people without their permission. Afua Natwi was out on this beautiful day enjoying a game of giant checkers, but she hates the game that telemarketers play bothering her on her smartphone. But do you ever get a call to your cell phone? Every single day. First, it was unwanted calls. Well, I think it's really invasive. Now, even unwanted texts. So you ignore the text and hope they don't text you again. Katie Smith always checks the caller's area code. I got an unwanted call yesterday, actually, from a New York number. Now, a class action settlement with the nation's biggest radio chain over spam text messages could mean some money in your pocket. The suit claims that iHeartMedia started sending unwanted texts to people's phones when all they had done was request a song on the radio or enter some contests that they had heard about. iHeartMedia has agreed to pay consumers $8.5 million to settle charges it violated the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. It's charged with sending out unwanted texts to listeners of its syndicated Elvis Duran show and some other programs on the iHeartRadio app. If you received one of their texts, look for this postcard in the mail. Meantime, what about those unwanted calls to your smartphone? It's already been paid for, so there's no cost to you whatsoever. It's so frustrating. I get the same call over and over again. And yeah. Yeah. Probably at least 15 calls a day. She may want to try Mr. Number, recently named by Time Magazine as the best app for stopping phone spam. Another highly rated app is called True Caller. Now that many people don't have landlines, marketers are playing a game with our smartphones. I'm always just like, how did you get my number? Where did this come from? But you may be able to say checkmate with some spam blocking apps. As for iHeartMedia, the company is not commenting on the case. Meantime, attorneys tell us there's no set amount of money yet that consumers may receive, so don't plan to spend it yet and don't waste your money. I'm John Matter. He's 41 Action News.